Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a two-parter and it's probably not going to go up until Friday because I'm recording this exactly on Thursday. I've had a crazy week. My son's school had like a lot of stuff going on. They had a school trip. They had um, back to school slash so parent, parent meeting today. So I'm just now getting able to do everything. But the first portion of this is me announcing the giveaway winner. I believe I have a video clip, so I'm going to insert it now. So the winner is Miss Missy72. And I know exactly who she is. She comments a lot on a lot of my videos. I do want to say thank you to everyone who did enter the giveaway. I truly appreciate it. Um, I didn't expect a lot of people to enter, honestly. There will be another giveaway. I don't know if I'm going to do it around Thanksgiving or New Year's, but I do have another giveaway coming. And it's going to be on probably another Bible. And then I still have the journaling Bible giveaway. I'm just trying to figure out which journaling Bible I want to get. It's probably going to be um, a Journal of the Word Bible, but I don't know what translation. It might be a KJV. It might be a New King James. It might be an NIV, a ESV. I'm not really sure yet which translation I want to get. But um, the journaling Bible, journaling Bible giveaway will be coming soon. So you can definitely expect two more giveaways. But yes, you are the winner, so contact me um, by Sunday the latest so that I can get this stuff shipped out to you as soon as possible. And um, yeah, so again, thank you to everyone who entered. I truly, truly appreciate it. Your comments were amazing. I got all of you guys' video suggestions down. So I have a new system now, thanks to Jason Mayfield. I talk about his channel every, every, every so often because I actually do enjoy his channel. Um, his channel is called Grace for Life. TV if I'm not mistaken but his name is Jason Mayfields and um, he has a, a phenomenal channel definitely check out his channel it'll be linked in the card above you can check it out but um, he just recently did a video on um, video content and how he keeps it organized and stuff and I used Trello before with my sis and from transform through God's word we used it previously but then I fell off using it I'm not even sure if she uses it still but um, he talked about Trello and I already had an account with them so I just got back into using it and I kind of like the system he has going so yes I have all of you guys video ideas written down so it's a lot of videos but I'm gonna get back into that um and another thing before I dive into the actual point of this video is that um John Bible studies so I think what I'm gonna do is for the next two and a half months I think we have left two and a half months um I'm going to finish up all the way to John chapter 10 and then Come January, I'm going to probably take a break from John for a few months and do some of the minor prophets just because I didn't realize what I was getting myself into um, when I said let's study John together. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, I just recently finished my notes for John chapter 5, like completely finished them. I don't have cross references in it though because I do want to start, like I said before, um, slowing down on the notes because I don't want to put all that effort in and then you guys don't really get a chance to do the work yourselves if that makes sense so I am going to figure that out I'm gonna have a video with all the things that are gonna be taking place in 2019 because I have a lot of ideas and stuff that are gonna, is gonna come also I know a lot of you have been asking me, asking me about the testimony series that is coming I thought I was ready and prepared to do it but apparently I'm not um so I'm working on it. I'm going to work on that. Reviews are coming. Um, you can definitely count on three book reviews coming. It's going to be Cling. It's going to be Fervent. And then the Battlefield Battlefield for Prayer, of Prayer, for Prayer. I can't remember the name of the book. Um, and then Anywhere of Faith. So I have four books that I'm working on. Probably five um, that I'm working on reviews. I'm just trying to figure out the setup for that. If I want to do them in front of my bookcase. If I want to have notes for them. If I want to just flow with it. I'm trying to figure out the, way I, the best way to do it. Um, without it being scripted, but without it being over the top <laughs> at the same time. But, um, yeah. So, again, the winner for the giveaway, the 1,000 subscribers slash one year giveaway, is Miss Missy72. Right? I said that right, right? 72? Yeah, 72. And, um, yeah, so just contact me by Sunday so that I can get your package shipped out next week to you. And, anyway, so the purpose of this video, as the title says above, is another Bible review. I know. I have so many Bibles. I put a clip up of all of my Bibles on my shelf. I have about 20 Bibles. 
yes um i do have 20 bibles but i use all of my bibles for different reasons for different things for different uses some of them i haven't really got into yet just because i use them for specific things but this is going to be on the esv story of redemption bible from crossway and this bible is just everything about this bible makes me happy it makes me smile it's gorgeous 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 i love all the gold foiling on this like it is a stunning bible this bible does retail for 39.99 i don't know if you guys can see that right there 39.99 but um it is a stunning bible it says a journey through the unfolding promises of god so i'm going to quickly read some stuff about this bible for you guys and then we're going to just flip through it um, if I can find what I was looking for. Okay, so you can get this obviously from Amazon, you can get it from Christianbook.com, um, or the Crossway site themselves. But, um, it does come in four styles. So you get the hardcover, which I have. You can get the True Tone Burgundy in red. You can get the Top Ring Leather Black or the True Tone Brown. But I'm going to quickly just read what it says on the website and then flip around so you guys can dive into the Bible with me. So it says the Bible is the epic story of the unfolding plan of God over the course of the history of the world. The ESV Story of Redemption Bible, a journey, journey through unfolding promises of God, leads readers on a journey through this storyline from start to finish with conversational commentary written by Pastor Greg Gilbert. Um, with the aim of encouraging interaction and contemplation passage by passage, Gilbert explains how every part of scripture fits together and is ultimately centered on Christ, particularly suitable to those who are new to the Bible but rich with insights for even the most seasoned Bible reader. The ESV Story of Redemption Bible will draw readers in as they see their place in the greatest story ever told. So, I do want to mention that this is not a study Bible. This is more of a commentary Bible. And there is a difference between a commentary and a study Bible. A study Bible has study notes for majority of the verses within the Bible. At the bottom, you can see them. Um, kind of like if you've seen my spirit-filled bible review you can be honest with me for that but this one is more of just commentary about certain passages and scriptures and verses in the bible um this is smith's own binding it has premium crayon colored paper there are about 80 plus maps illustrations and timelines so you will have maps at the back of the bible but throughout the bible you have different timelines and maps and um little illustrations drawn throughout which are stunning um and you do get introductions to every book of the bible but um yeah that's pretty much it what i wanted to say i wanted to get that out of the way like i said the retail price is 40 dollars 39.99 but i'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper anywhere else this is just for the hardcover i'm not sure the price on the other ones which are going to be more of your leather bound bibles i'm not sure they're probably pricey, but um, definitely can check those out. So I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to show you this stunning Bible from the inside out. So stay tuned. Alrighty, ladies. So here is the Bible when you look at it this way. It is just really, really stunning. I absolutely love and adore the dust jacket for this Bible with all of the gold foiling. And I will mention that you will see these little, like, symbols, icons throughout the Bible as they tell the story of each book of the Bible, which I think is amazing. But here you have the ESV emblem, Story of Redemption Bible. I love the kind of old, kind of um, ancient kind of feel to it. It's just amazing. Reminds me of the Victorian era. Um, but yeah, you have the apple from the Garden of Eden. You have the crown, the cross the bible the spine looks like this story of redemption on it let me turn this light off real quick hopefully that's a little better but story of redemption esv crossway and then the back looks like this and this is just a dust jacket so you can take the dust jacket off, but um, it does give you some information. So like I said in the intro, it has premium colored paper. It, there is a fold-out timeline in the back, which I think is great. Over 80 plus new maps, illustrations, and timelines. And those are all illustrated by Peter Roth. Um, you have book introductions, over 900 commentaries from Pastor Greg Gilbert. It's single column paragraph format, which I am a fan of. And the notes, the commentaries are going to be an 8.5 Milo type. And the Bible text itself is going to be a 9.25 Milo text. So 
I'm going to take off the dust jacket so you guys can see what the Bible looks like on its own. It is just a black Bible. The spine is the same with that gold detailing on it. I just want to get the light so that you guys can see. Sorry about that. Just black, nothing extra. It does come with a black ribbon bookmark. I wish there were two, but it doesn't bother me. So now opening up, the end pages look like this, and they all have little symbols in them, which I think is great. So this is the color of the paper. It's definitely cream color. But now we're getting into one of my favorites, which is the presentation page. Oh, this presentation page is amazing. I, I The gold foiling, they did amazingly well with this. Like, everything on this page is gold foil. Or it has this kind of grayish blue coloring, which I think complements the cream color. So you have your presented to, by, and on. This Bible is great. Like, oh my gosh, so great. Then you go to your title page again. It has that grayish blue background with the gold foiling on it again with the symbols so i believe this is the place uh, where they burn the incense this might be the ark the cornerstone i'm not sure about all of them i'm not you know that knowledgeable with the symbols um and then you go to your next page which has that gold text on it your contents old testament new testament index of your illustrations chronological overview and then you have um, an introduction to this bible exactly what it offers i didn't read through it honestly so i wouldn't be able to tell you <laughs> but um you get your, pre your preface your preface however you want to say it about the esv translation then you dive into the old testament okay so here's the first symbol and it's the old testament so starting off here this is the book of genesis and there is the ark that noah built um, with the rain and the flood, which obviously lets you know about it. And what I'm going to do is quickly zoom in for you ladies, so you guys can see. And I know I say ladies a lot on my channel, but I do have men who watch my channel, so I'm going to try to find something else to say. <laughs> but, um, so here you would have your brief little introduction of the book of Genesis. And then you go into your text. So, right off the back, you can see there is space here for you to right and i love that now let's see what that is in centimeters right what's the centimeters so almost three and a half centimeters of space which would be what trying to get it as close as possible i guess one and a quarter inch space to write notes which is great for those who like to draw or in my case those who like to really journal out their notes so that is that is one column paragraph style and I, I I've grown to like this style of um, text especially in my crossway Bibles and what you see here now is you have your text here and then here and here is your commentary you get more text from the scripture and then more commentary obviously you get your footnotes um, which is perfectly fine. All Bibles have that. So, moving along again, this would be chapter 22. And all of the chapters come written in gold text, which is great. Um, you still get your titles, obviously, for each chapter. But again, you got your text, your commentary, your text, your text, your commentary, your text, your commentary, and your text. Footnotes, if footnotes are needed. So, let's move that off. Okay. Here is one of those in text kind of maps. This one is the journey to Mount Sinai. So it's telling you the journey that was taken. Here is the Ark of the Covenant. This is a illustration and I really like the illustrations. The illustrations and the maps are all done in like gold kind of color and font. This would be an image of the tabernacle tent. I'm trying to see if there's any other images before I get to the next. Nope, I don't see any other ones so far. Yep, okay. So, I think that's it 
for the Old Testament. Let me just browse quickly and see if I can find any other maps or images, but I'm not seeing any so far. And I'm sorry if this is giving you guys a headache. I just wanted to double check. Oh, well, here we go. Here is something, a few things, if this page allows me to see it. So this is Solomon's Temple, which is really nice. I didn't see this one before. This one takes up two pages. So some of the illustrations will take up two pages. And I believe if you have the ESV Archaeological Bible, you might even see these in that Bible as well. So Solomon's Temple. It's really nice. And then you have the Kingdoms Divided here, which is an in-text map. But, um, moving ahead, here is your New Testament, and the symbol for that is the cross, obviously, because that's when Christ came about. So here we have Jesus' ministry in Galilee. It's just an in-text map. Here we have Jesus' Jesus's ministry beyond Israel. And text map. Golgotha and the Temple Mount. The Tomb of Jesus, which I think is awesome that they have an illustration of that. This is a two-page spread map, if you will. Um, and this is supposed to be the setting of Acts. If I can get this all in frame. Um, I mean, you get all the stuff down here, too. But, you know, Africa, Egypt, Palestine, Judea, Samaria, Syria... Cyprus, Sicily, Italy, Macedonia, the Black Sea, Asia, the Mediterranean Sea. So, I mean, as you flip throughout, because a lot of the illustrations will be in the New Testament, um, mostly maps, but here's Paul's first missionary journey. I see another one. I don't know if that's a map. Yeah, here is his third missionary journey. So you'll find a lot more of the illustrations in the New Testament, at least from what I can tell. Um, and what I mean by each of these having a different symbol here, Second Peter. And then let's go to First John, which looks like that symbol. I think all of the Johns have the same symbol, yes. Jude and Revelation. Going to the back, you have an index of the title illustrations. And the title illustrations was just basically what I showed you with Jude, Revelations, and stuff. So these are just a little symbol. So Genesis has the Ark, Exodus has a locust. Leviticus would be the burnt offering, kind of like that table where they do the burnt offering, sacrificial offerings. Numbers, you have the bronze serpent. Deuteronomy, you have the tablets for the commandments. Joshua, the Ark of the Covenant. Judges um, is a fig tree. Ruth would be the barley harvest, which we all know that. <laughs> First Samuel is, what is this? The sling and the stone. Obviously the infamous David and Goliath. Um, 2 Samuel would be the crown for the kingdom of David. 1 Kings, this is the throne of Solomon. 2 Kings is... So this is an illustration that alludes to Elijah's ascent to heaven. 1 Chronicles is uh, the lyre and harp that was based on David's songs. Second Chronicles is a peacock, which is an example of Solomon's greatest wealth. Ezra is a ram. Nehemiah are the walls of Jerusalem. Esther, it depicts a scene related in Esther 8.4, which Esther acts to save her people. So it's a hand reaching out, I believe. Job, you have the contrast between life and death. So you have the skull. 
and then you have the um the plant which i think is amazing psalms here you just have uh oh the one where it says a deer pants for a flowing stream so you have a deer at the stream proverbs is the sun ecclesiastes is the wind song of solomon is a dove surrounding landscape isaiah is just the landscape with dark clouds because this was a, a lot of isaiah's prophecies were about the judgment of israel obviously jeremiah you have trumpets lamentations you have wormwood ezekiel you have i don't even know what this is bones and skulls yeah bones and skulls daniel the lion we all should know that hosea uh, it has the vine in the vineyard with the grapes. Joel has a hook. Amos has a sycamore. Obadiah has the eagle. Jonah has the great fish, which is the whale. Micah has an image of like the landscape splitting. Nahum, Nahum, I think that's how you say that, um, is an illustration of power and wrath of God it kind of looks like a storm coming to me Habakkuk you have a running leopard and Habakkuk is definitely one not Habakkuk Hosea is one that we're going to be studying soon but Habakkuk or Habakkuk is um, a running leopard Zephaniah are the ravenous wolves Haggai is the signet ring Zechariah is an olive branch. Malachi is a rising sun, which illustrates the sun of righteousness. Then we go into the New Testament. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all have um, wing symbols of the four evangelists and their roots in Ezekiel and also in Revelation. So that makes sense. Okay. Acts has a dove, which obviously we know Acts is about the Holy Spirit how they receive the holy spirit romans is a vase um which is a reference to the potter and the clay first corinthians is wine and bread i personally feel like it should should have probably been like a heart because obviously everyone knows first corinthians 13 is all about love but makes sense <laughs> second corinthians you have a ship because paul spent most of his time traveling galatians um stars in the sky ephesians is oh the sword and shield i believe that's what that's supposed to be philippians is a grid colossians would be i don't even know what that is a cross with the sun and a gate i guess oh no the prison okay so i'm not gonna keep going through all of these obviously but first peter has the cornerstone the oil of lamp is second peter Hebrews is the shepherd's staff with the sheep and a sword. Titus is the island of Crete, where Titus served as a pastor. So that's that, okay. All the way to Revelation. Then we have a daily Bible reading plan. They give you a few, so you have this suggested one. And this one here. I can never pronounce this word properly, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Then we dive into the pull-out timeline. So, this is going to be a long one. It's going to be a minute. So, here's the timeline. Creation, the flood of Noah, Israel and Egypt, the conquest era of judges, the divided monarchy, fall and exile of Judah, birth of Christ, death and resurrection, and ascension of Christ, um death of john end of the new testament era christ returns you have the rest down here which is the fall the era of the patriarchs as exodus wilderness wanderings which i guess you can look at it that way but yeah i like that and that pretty much ends the bible you have your extra pages in the back here but um you know, this Bible doesn't come with a lot. So is it, an, is it an essential Bible? No, not in my opinion. But if you're looking for a Bible that has more commentary rather than study notes, I think this is a great resource. 
Um, there are various different types of Bibles. There are your basic reading Bibles, which come with basically nothing in them. Then you have your study Bibles, which I think are crucial resources to studying the Word of God, especially when you're doing it on your own time. And then finally, you have those Bibles that are not a you, but can be a great help, which would be like your commentary Bibles. And um, this is definitely, I'll get a Bible for that. Is it a necessity? Like I said, not really. Personally, I think it's gorgeous. It's aesthetically pleasing to the eye with all this gold foiling. I just love it so much. But you don't need to purchase it. If you have the money to purchase it and you want an ESV Bible, I would say go ahead and give it a try. Um, it's kind of a mix of a study Bible with a journaling Bible because it has the space of a journaling Bible. And it has the notes kind of like a study Bible, but it's a commentary. So I would classify this as like a journaling commentary Bible, if you will. But um, I personally like it. I am going to actually be diving into it, reading John tonight. So let me just take my bookmark and put it in John 5. I'm going to read that to read his commentary as I edit through the notes. And like I said, I already completed the John chapter 5 notes. Um, they're actually on my desk. I'm going to browse through them. I may still include uh, cross-references, just not on the paper. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully I can get this up edited to put up tonight, which is Thursday. If not, it'll be up Friday. Um, I'm getting back to things, you know, guys. So thank you for your patience. But um, yeah, this is the Bible, and it's a nice one. Would I say you need it? No, you don't need it. But if you want it, buy it. <laughs> It's one of those kind of Bibles. But um, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.